Myth or fact, at home workouts just don't work. This is a myth. Now, the reason being is that your body does not know when you are in the gym versus your living room, versus your front yard, versus the basement, or out at the lake, wherever it is that you are completing your training. Your body knows resistance training. That is what your body and your muscles are responding to when you engage in physical activity, whether this be in the gym or at home. So. One of the reasons why we perceive it to be a fact that we can only obtain our results in the gym is that we have heavier weights available in the gym compared to at home, typically. Most of us don't have at home gyms, otherwise we probably wouldn't be paying for a gym membership. So, since we have those heavier weights available at the gym or those machines, a way that you can still obtain or at least maintain your strength, your physique, and progress towards your goals from home without the gym is to utilize different methods of training to still reach that target volume that you achieve in the gym. So how can you still achieve that target volume that you're hitting in the gym from home? How can you do that without having those heavier weights available and without having the machines? Well, three ways that you can do it are by utilizing those different methods of training to obtain that volume. So utilizing time under tension, drop sets, and interval training. Time under tension is the amount of time that your muscle is spending in the contraction phase of that exercise. So if you take a standard bicep curl, for example, you're doing basically a one count motion down, up, down, up. If you're utilizing time under tension, you would maybe switch things up to a three count lowering phase or a three count raising phase of that motion. Possibly both. Putting in a tempo in there helps your muscles stay in that contraction phase for longer, therefore increasing the amount of time that you are spending in the resistance training mode of that muscle group. So even though you don't have that heavier weight available, your muscles are going to feel it. So that is a little bit on time under tension. Drop sets, this is going to be taking what you consider to be a heavier weight for yourself or a heavier load on that lift and progressing downward. So for example, an upright row with a drop set. Instead of just choosing your heavy weight, doing your 10 reps, putting it down, resting, do another set like you might at the gym typically. You're going to be picking up the heaviest weight that you have available and doing as many sets as you can. Putting it down, taking no rest and moving to the next slightly lighter weight. Doing as many reps as you can, putting it down, not taking a rest and moving it to that next slightly lower weight. Now, what this does is it further increases the amount of time your muscle is spending in that contraction phase without a rest, really stressing your muscles out and causing them to tear, which is what causes that muscle growth. So even though you don't have the heavy weights, even though you don't have the machines, you can still get an awesome lift by utilizing that time under tension and the effectiveness of a drop set by really increasing the fatigue that your muscles are feeling. Lastly, utilizing interval training, kind of like what I just talked about with your drop sets, moving from one set to the next with minimal rest, that's what you can utilize as well for your workouts if they're at home, if you don't have a gym available or if you don't have the cardio equipment available to get that burn that you are looking for in regards to your cardiovascular strength, combining it with the resistance strength training, okay? So you're moving from one move to the next with minimal rest to keep your heart rate up and to keep that movement going throughout your workouts so that you're still hitting the cardio and you're still hitting the strength training. So those are just three different methods that you can utilize from home even if you don't have heavy weights available, even if you don't have those machines available. Because I'm telling you, if you are utilizing time under tension, those drop sets, 
and using minimal rest when you feel like you don't maybe have those heavy weights available, you are going to feel it.